guess who's out of town again? Our good friend Jalen. But you know what that means? I got gates too. We got this as an online order. They want it really simple. A small round red velvet cake with cheesecake ice cream with no mix-ins. But I did mess up right here. They wanted a mid-layer of strawberries, so I had to take the ice cream out and put a mid-layer in there. But I fixed it all up, and so we're all good. And then the cake goes in the blast overnight. After a good night's sleep, we take it out of the pan, and then we're gonna put our frosting on top. We're gonna start to smooth it off the edges, and get it to fall off the edge, and we're gonna smooth it out on the edges. Make sure we build a big crown so we can make the smooth corners on the top. And once we smooth down our crown and make some edges, we're gonna put our Grand Prix pie crust on the side. And then I'm gonna put a border on the bottom because I've done this cake without a border like last week, so I'm gonna do it different this time. Put our strawberries on top, add the green leaves, and I'm gonna write on it. This one is happy birthday, Giovanni. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And we put it in the freezer to be picked up. Yesterday, Kyla took another cake order, and it was due for this morning. So she built the cake yesterday, and then I decorated it last night. So I had to pan the cake, and then let it chill in the blast to harden up. Then I got my ganache and chocolate shavings ready. And then we're gonna wake it up from the blast. And then we're gonna coat it in ganache. You wanna swipe off the excess off the top so it doesn't drip off later. Then we do our chocolate shaving side crumb. If you haven't noticed, I kinda have my own style of doing cakes by now. This is one of my favorite ways to decorate them. I think it just looks nicer than what they ask us to do. Then we're gonna take some ganache, we're gonna add some water to it, and if you mix it up, it starts to make it thick so we can pipe it. I know it doesn't really make sense, but that's how it works. I'm pretty sure it's due to the cornstarch and oil in it reacting with the water. That's my best guess. But either way, it looks really nice and tastes good. And they didn't want any writing on top. I hope you like chocolate. Today we're making our cotton candy ice cream. Or if you're under the age of eight, our blue ice cream. We need to measure out our flavoring, and then we're gonna get out our sweet cream and fill up the machine. Make sure you get all of the sweet cream out. That usually includes squeezing it and then scraping the rest of it out of the bladder. We're gonna hit start on the machine. Once the machine starts to beep, we're gonna grab our two pans and begin the extraction. Once your first pan is full, make sure you close it and move it aside, get the second pan down. And then we're gonna tuck them in because you know they're gonna take a nap in the blast. Make sure you get all four corners. Once they're all tucked in, it's time for them to take their nap in the blast. Once they've been in there for a few hours, it's time to move them to the back freezer. This brings them to an easier temperature for us to serve, around zero degrees.